Hello, we are live Hi. again. It's Tuesday. I'm here with Nancy Olson. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm Good. really excited about playing. Good. Um, Nancy and I met backstage for a little bit before the show and we got talking about auto harps, um, which is a, just a fascinating instrument. And she's going to play one today for you. Um, uh, first, a little bit about Street Show. Um, Street Show is brought to you by um, us, Minneapolis Downtown Improvement District, Hennepin Theater Trust, and the Warming House. Uh, we used to send people out on the streets when there were more people downtown. Um, before COVID times, as it were. Um, since 19, uh, <laughs> just kidding, not 19, uh, 2017, there we go. Um, uh, we have been putting about 12 to 15 performers out on Nicollet Mall a week and the same out on Hennepin Avenue in downtown Minneapolis. Uh, we are so delighted that we can pay these performers for what they do. Um, and now since uh, COVID times, we are bringing it to you from wherever the performers are to wherever you are every Tuesday and Thursday from noon to one. Uh, this month, July, and next month, August, we are adding a layer to our um, performances in that we have asked all the musicians um, to choose, or excuse me, performers, to choose an organization that they would like uh, to donate some money to. So we are matching the performer's fee to uh, donate to an organization of their choice. Um, I will put the links up and a little bit more information about Nancy's choice. Um, I'll, I will put that up in the comments. Um, I will also put a PayPal link for Nancy. If you would like to tip her, she welcomes tips. We welcome you to tip um, any of the performers um, and support them in their in their efforts and talents. Um, please join us every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, or subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and then you'll know what's coming up. Um, yeah, I think that's all the announcements I have today, Nancy. How are you? You're doing good, Bill? I am fine. I am so looking forward to performing. I haven't performed since February, so this is a um, real joy. <laughs> I'm so glad. And you know, just know we are we are here listening and watching. It feels weird to, you know, uh, uh, you y'all listening at home, you know, it feels weird for us musicians to play to a screen. <laughs> but it is also such a joyful thing to be able to share talents. Um, we are so grateful, Nancy, that you are here with us and um, have so much fun with your set. And we'll see you soon. Okay, thank you. I want to thank Street Show for having me. I thought I'd, uh, you know, some people clean out their closets and get rid of stuff. I clean out my closets come across my old banjo and think, oh my God, why haven't I been playing this? So, and this isn't an instrument that I have a lot of luck with amplifying. So I thought it would be a good one for this acoustic performance. I'm gonna start with a lovely old song by Huddy Ledbelly about uh, asking a woman to bring him some water. Bring me little water, Sylvie. Bring me little water now. Bring me little water, Sylvie. Every little once in a while. I said it now, every little once in a while. Don't you see me coming? Don't you see me coming every little once in a while? I said, Lord, every little once in a while. Bring it in a bucket, Sylvie. Bring it in a bucket now. Bring it in a bucket, Sylvie. Every little once in a while, I said, Lord, every little 
didn't have any strings and uh, I went to the podium in Dinky Town bought a little thing for it the strings and the and the uh, Pete Seeger how to play the banjo book and the rest is history I don't pretend to be a great banjo player anyway this is another lead belly song which I thought was particularly uh, poignant for our times it's about in 1937 when he went to make some recordings for the Library of Congress. And uh, he is a black man and Washington DC was a very segregated city. And he was having problems being served in restaurants, finding places to stay. And he wrote this song called the Bourgeois Blues about that. And as I said, it seems pretty relevant today. <laughs> Hey, come on, all of you people, listen to me. I try to find a home in Washington, D.C. Let 
It's raining here in Minnesota. <laughs> I'm going to finish up the banjo portion, or at least the initial banjo portion, with another left belly song. Oh. gotten a little out of tune on this and that is the wonderful thing about having multiple instruments when one gets a little out of tune you just go to the next since we are talking about the auto harp i think i will get out my auto harp this is a goofy little auto harp not little actually weighs a ton <laughs> which is one reason it's not something i normally bring to street shows it's uh, kind of a hybrid between a guitar and an auto harp called a guitar roll. Oscar Schmidt made it in the 50s and 60s, kind of as part of the hoot nanny, kind of a hoot nanny instrument. Anyway, in my retirement, I had bought this thing on eBay quite a few years before I retired, but all the strings were broken and it needed a lot of work. So um, when I retired, I found someone in Pennsylvania who made guitar row strings, and I um, put new felts on it and brought it back from the dead. Whether it should have been brought back from the dead or not, you can decide for yourself. I thought I'd start with a real hoot nanny kind of song. It's one that was recorded by the Kingston Trio called the Greenback Doctor. Some people say I'm a no count. Others say I'm no good. But I'm just a good loving traveling gal. Doing what I think I should. Doing what I think I should. And I don't give a damn about a green 
was made famous or as famous as it was ever made by the Carter family. In fact, if you watch the history of country music on PBS, um, one of the first cuts of the Carter family had, uh, had them playing a guitar role. And this is an old Carter family song called Little Darling. So I think if you listen to it, you will find that little darling is really not a very darling kind of guy. <laughs> My little darling, how I love you, how I love you, to tell your heart, love no little darling, tell Oh, 
Now the guitar row can be played sitting on your lap or you can hold it like this. <laughs> Which uh, I don't know, I, I kind of go for the on the lap most of the time, but this can be kind of fun too. This is a song by the Loving Spoonful uh, to the extent the auto harp has ever been popular. In the 60s, it was very much popularized by John Sebastian, the lead singer and one of the songwriters for The Loving Spoonful, as he played it in his rock band. And this is one of his songs, Do You Believe in Magic? Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? How the music can free her whenever it starts. It's Magic if the music is groovy, well it makes you feel happy like an old time movie. I tell you about the magic it would bring your soul, but it's like trying to tell a stranger about a rock and roll. Do you believe in magic? Don't bother to choose a bitch of job and music. Living in blues, just go and live. And it'll start with a smile. You can wipe off the face no matter how hard you try. Your teeth start tapping and you can't see the fly. How you got there, baby? Let it blow your mind. Believe in that to come along with me to dance until morning. Just you and me, and maybe if the music is right, I'll meet you tomorrow, sort of late at night. And we'll go dancing, baby. Then you'll see the magic in the music. of the show with a kind of a sad John Prine song. Uh, it's, I think it's like the best breakup song ever written. It just captures so much of the poignancy of it. Um, poor John Prine passed away of coronavirus lately. Uh, recently, one of the real giants of the singer-songwriters. Um, this song is called Far From Me. As the cafe was closing, the warm summer's night, I was cleaning the swoon. When I'm alone with the tune I was to the change The station I said That song just drives me insane Virgin 
body plus a big maple resonator. So needless to say, it isn't something I would normally uh, take on the MTC for downtown Minneapolis street. I thought I'd do one more John Prine song in honor of his passing. This is one that I've always enjoyed. I actually used to rock my daughter to sleep to it. And I think it's sort of an appropriate song for our troubled times. It's a family dealing with a certain amount of positivity with an unfortunate experience. It's called The Bottomless Lake. Here's a story about a man and his family and the big trip they took. I heard all about it in a restaurant. I read it in a history book. They rented a car at the Erie Canal. The car didn't have no brakes. So my, my, my God, this car is falling in the bottomless Mama turned to daddy with a pale face. She 
she said it done. There's something horrible wrong. The water's still running in the bathtub. I think I left the kitchen light on. I heard a crash. The car went splash. The compass went around and around. For heaven's sake, we fell in the lake and I think we're all gonna drown. I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. I may never see my sweetheart again. There was plenty of food in the back seat. The windows was rolled up tight. So we all nibbled on the chicken leg. We told the stories way through the night. I told one that I told four. Baby got a bellyache. So I'm out of mind, my God, this car is a falling apart. We are falling down, down the bottom of a hole in the ground. Smoking that you got on. I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. I may never see my sweetheart again. Papa play the music on the radio. Mama rock the baby to sleep. Said I would have taken the other road. Didn't think the lake was that deep. If the ferry'd been there at the end of the pier, we'd be halfway to Uncle Jake's. Instead of looking at fish out the window, we wish we'd get the bottom of the box, baby. We are falling down, down the bottom of the hole. I'm so scared I can hardly breathe. I may never see my sweetheart side of St. Paul in the uh, early 70s with my high school boyfriend who had his own car, a very big thing in the 70s.
sympathy for young people. It's easy for old folks like me to stay home. It's a quite quite a bit more of a hardship for the young. Um, this is an old Josh White gospel. Uh, he has a, another giant I learned it from his chain gang songs and spirituals when I was actually quite young. But when the song really uh, hit me right between the eyes was when my mother had Alzheimer's. And I'd like to dedicate this to the many people who have passed away from the virus, including my dear neighbor Pam and my dear Aunt Dorothy. Oh 
problems I had and we decided well neither one of us was perfect not a big surprise when you're in your 40s <laughs> you perfect people in this imperfect world late in their histories be right in the past to try and look a little better but definitely relating the mistakes and the errors Yeah. 
This next song is, I like to refer to it as an agnostic hymn. <laughs> it's another one I wrote. It was around Halloween. <laughs> and uh, I was thinking of lost souls. God say give me what I deserve. Mercy on us, so give me the errors, the anger, give me the lies I told. Remember when my intentions were good, although I know that was not always the case. We're all just lost souls wondering. recently last year it's a grateful dead ukulele and um i feel kind of silly about having bought it but it was very cheap and it was so pretty and it actually sounds pretty nice and this is a song i wrote in the skyroom cafeteria at dayton's it was a point in my life, I was recently divorced, fairly bummed, and I just decided to creatively visualize romance. So I imagined a young couple falling in love at the cafeteria. Man in white played the piano, the lady with blue hair refilled my Yeah. 
cafeteria Looking out on a mini sky Yes, I will ride in your Geo Share that apartment on Lake I'll be with you Since it's a Grateful Dead ukulele, I have to do a Grateful Dead song. for an audience and I do want to mention I have my own YouTube page it's Olson Girl 5 with a couple hundred videos so you want to hear me play any instrument uh, dulcimer uh, auto harp whatever it's there and I also want to mention that I am I have the good fortune of being a retired person so I am not an economic need during these difficult times so the money I'm making here today and any tips are going to get donated to Second Harvest Food Bank. And, uh, and I also want to so thank Street Show for putting this on. 
They're a wonderful organization. I think they bring a lot of fun to the Nicollet Mall and help a lot of kind of, you know, starting out musicians or amateur musicians like myself to, to be able to bring joy to the Nicollet Mall. And I really hope we're back there next summer. Anyway, I'm going to end with another kind of goofy song about positive attitude in the midst of adversity. This is uh, by Warren Zevon, the guy who wrote um, Werewolves of London. It's called Monkey Wash, Donkey Rinse. set of music. Thank you so much, Nancy. It well, was wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. I really yeah. enjoyed it. It it was evident that you enjoyed it. You were <laughs> a joyful person. And um it was so cool to see you play all the different instruments and everything. It was it was a, a wonderful hour. Um oh, thank you. I just wanted to pop in here to, to thank you and also tell the folks at home that we will uh, be here every Tuesday and Thursday with different performers um from wherever they are to wherever you are thanks again to hennepin theater trust and the warming house for supporting these adventures and um on friday we also have a special show uh if you follow us on social media you'll you'll get little glimpses of what we got going on friday with um jeremy messersmith um and this Thursday at noon we have um shahidi uh coming at you um he is also a regular on nicolet mall um so we are very grateful to all the listeners to you nancy today and um we hope you have a wonderful day thank you bye-bye thank you and people can come back and watch the the show again at the street show youtube channel absolutely they're all <laughs> Um, they're all archived there. Thanks for that reminder. I appreciate yes. it. Yes. In fact, yesterday I was doing some work on the computer listening to the Roe Family Singers. So <laughs> there were some great concerts and you can watch them any old time. Excellent. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>